Welcome, my friends. Today, we're going to talk about something we all think about, often more than we'd like to admit, wealth. We spend so much of our lives focused on protecting, growing, and securing our wealth. But how many of us have paused to consider, what is wealth, really? What are we truly trying to protect? And how can we make sure it lasts? I remember, many years ago, speaking to a wise elder in my village. He was not a wealthy man by any means, not in the way we think of wealth today. But his life was rich in a way that's rare to see. He had a calm spirit, an infectious kindness, and a sense of peace that seemed unbreakable. So, I asked him, what is the secret to your wealth? And he said something that has stayed with me ever since, true wealth isn't found in coins or possessions. True wealth lives in the heart. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but isn't wealth about protecting what we've earned? Our homes, our savings, may be investments. And you're right, there's a practical side to wealth. We do need these things to live. But there's a deeper side to wealth that's often overlooked. Real wealth is what we carry within ourselves, not what we keep in a bank. Let's think about the wealth we all carry. You see, no thief can steal your wisdom. No storm can destroy your integrity. And no loss can take away your compassion. These are treasures we all possess, but we don't always nurture them, do we? The monk's eyes sparkle as he continues, leaning in slightly. Think about it. How many times do we prioritize material wealth over these inner treasures? Perhaps there's a promotion you're aiming for, or a new investment you're hoping will double in a few years. There's nothing wrong with that, ambition is not a sin. But here's the question I'd like you to ask yourself, are you as dedicated to protecting your inner wealth as you are to guarding your material wealth? Many years ago, a young man came to me, distressed over a great financial loss. He felt as if his entire identity, his worth, was wrapped up in that loss. After listening to him, I asked, but in all this time, did you lose any of your kindness? Did your patience vanish? Has your wisdom left you? He looked at me, confused, and then a slow realization dawned. He hadn't lost these things. And though he felt poorer in one sense, he was still rich in so many others. From that day, he began to protect his inner wealth as carefully as he once guarded his assets. So how do we protect this wealth, the wealth that truly matters? First, we need mindfulness. We must be aware of what we're nurturing. Are we feeding our compassion, or are we letting anger take root? Are we cultivating patience, or are we allowing stress to erode it? Remember, every moment is an opportunity to guard this wealth. Second, we need gratitude. When we are grateful, our focus shifts from what we lack to what we have. A grateful heart is a prosperous heart, and gratitude shields our inner wealth from envy and greed. Every day, take a moment to appreciate the wealth within you, your health, your loved ones, your wisdom, and your peace. These are riches beyond measure. And finally, we need generosity. When we share our inner wealth, it doesn't decrease, it multiplies. The more kindness we give, the more kindness grows within us. The more we share our wisdom, the deeper our understanding becomes. Real wealth, the kind that endures, is meant to flow. Like a river that nourishes everything it touches, our inner wealth enriches us most when we give it freely. My friends, when we protect the wealth within, we gain a type of prosperity that can never be lost. I encourage you to take a quiet moment today and ask yourself, what wealth am I protecting? And how can I make sure it lasts? Reflect on the treasures within you, not the ones around you. And remember, as you journey through life, that true wealth is measured not by what we have, but by the peace, kindness, and love we hold in our hearts. Thank you for joining me on this path of reflection. If you found value in today's lesson, I invite you to take these insights with you, to share them with others, and to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to continue walking this path with us. And remember, wealth is a gift, but inner wealth is a treasure. Protect it, nurture it, and it will carry you through life's greatest storms. Until next time, may peace and prosperity fill your heart and mind.